Hello beautiful Taurus. Welcome to my channel, Miss Reem Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your February reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Taurus on your soul to soul connections. This could be for soulmate, twin flame. Please take it however it resonates with whatever journey that you are on here on earth in this lifetime. All of us have different purposes and different paths and they are all beautiful some messages may also arise to help guide you to help heal you on your ascension on your awakening journey on your path friends family work messages may also arise these messages are from the divine they we all have a direct line to source to god okay all of us have a direct line. We are all here to help one another out, okay? So I hope to bring you some clarity here. All right, this is for sun, moon rising, and Venus, Taurus. I'm going to start with the angel oracle just to get a message, some guidance, and then we'll get into the tarot. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. And this is Holy Angel Merlina. So thank you, Holy Angel Merlina, for your presence. Thank you for your message. Okay, so, I mean, this is pretty straightforward here. There's some confusion. There's some indecisiveness about the circumstances that you are in. Okay? Um, this could be in any situation. So apply it however it resonates in your life. This is the Angel Oracle Tarot, I think that's what it's called. I really should look at what it's called. Um, I'm just going to go get some further guidance on this. I feel like you're in, a, you're in your life right now, living and experiencing different things. I feel like you're confused with either a person or just circumstances. This could be work. You could be confused about your work. You could be confused about how to move forward. But you're guided here to be patient, wait until the right time to move. So do research, seek expert advice. So if you are confused about school, or work, seek an expert professional guide to assist you, perhaps in that field. I just feel confusion about what to do, okay? This could also resonate with a person. Someone is creating confusion, someone is being indecisive, and it's making you confused and it's making you indecisive about the situation because there's not enough there's not enough information to go on or to go off of okay there's very little yeah restriction and underneath that you have heartache and you have burdens I'm just going to get one more. Okay. And freedom. Okay. So, Taurus, I feel like you're going through this period in your life where someone or some things are causing you to feel unhappy. Okay, this is the heartache that I'm feeling. There is a misalignment here. And with this feeling of unhappiness you feel restricted to do what it is that you want to do 
okay, this is this goes back to feeling confused and indecisive. When we feel confused and indecisive, we feel stuck. We feel restricted. Okay, and it doesn't make us happy. It makes us misaligned. So I find that currently you are burdened by this confusion and either somebody's confusion towards you or somebody's indecisiveness with the situation or the circumstance or the relationship. So take it however you want to take it in whatever area it is in your life. But I do see you here being free. Okay, we have here the Four of Wands. So I do see you freeing yourself. Okay, I do see you seeking information. I, I see you becoming clear on the situation at hand that is making you feel confused. This is not the energy that Taurus thrives in or anybody for that matter, okay? But you are getting freed, okay? You're getting free. So let's see, this is the Golden Universal deck. For Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus. On their soul-to-soul -soul connections and any other messages that they need to hear. Wow, the Three of Swords again. The Three of Swords again. Okay. Okay. You're not happy. Let's just... Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. You're not happy. Someone is making you unhappy. Okay, whatever situation it is. Okay, this is this could be a person, this could be a work, this could be anything that is that is causing you to feel misaligned, okay? Your heart is telling you something right now. Your heart is feeling restricted. You feel restricted and you feel bound. You feel burdened. You want to free yourself. Your soul is screaming. You want to free yourself. This is your guidance here with the chariot. You want to free yourself. You want to move on. Someone here is really unhappy. Okay, someone here could be causing you to feel confused. Yeah, look at this. Four of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Someone here is, I feel also depression. I feel anxiety. Someone also is not eating. Um, like they have trouble eating or they have a digestive issues or inflammatory issues. Okay, I can feel it in my gut right now. Um, I feel like extremely anxious. I feel my heart aching and I feel something in my gut. So um, this is anxiety. This is depression. And someone has a, because your, your mind is like that, your gut is also being affected. So you could have something, um, sorry, my phone's dying. Um, you could have something inflammatory or or a digestive issue or you're just not eating well because you're you're too anxious you're sad you're very discontent in this situation okay there's a lot of confusion here okay but freedom is here yes the star <laughs> the star always comes out when you need it the most okay the star always comes out when we need healing when we need help when when we need guidance and you have here the six of cups this is soulmate energy i <clears throat> i don't want to say I don't know what I just said. I think like someone here doesn't want to say something. Because my throat just like closed up. And then I said, I don't want to say. 
I don't even know why I said that. So I feel like someone here doesn't want to say something or doesn't want to, like they're indecisive. They're indecisive. Okay, you could be committed to this person or newly committed to this person. Or you were committed to this person. Okay, so take it how it resonates. That's too many. That's too many. See, someone's energy is really all over the place here. This person doesn't know what to do. There's someone here that's really confused. I feel like both of you are. Or one person is super confused and then it makes the other person just as confused. Yeah, Seven of Cups, confusion. Someone is confused about commitment or if there will be a commitment. Someone is confused about the connection. There's a imbalance here. Someone sways between Six of Cups and Seven of Cups. Someone goes back and forth between uh, this connection here. I feel it. I know what it is um, because I feel this energy here. So you see here, you have the Ten of Pentacles in the middle. Stability, commitment, success, tangibility, family. You have the Six of Cups on one side. You have the Seven of Cups on the other side. So someone goes in and out of both of these energies. I can feel it. I know what this connection is. You're tied together. You feel a strong bond. You feel youthful together. Someone makes you feel like a child again or like a teenager. Like it's just like when you're together, it just feels good. And then I feel like this is what it is when you two are together. It's so amazing. It's so like energetic as well. Like there's a lot of energy between the two of you. So you feel like children, like you feel like you can run and play all day, right? And then you go home and then it's like the seven of cups. Confusion. I don't know what to do. They're confused about st committing, moving forward chariot again the chariot keeps coming out let's see if it comes out again that's too many their energy is way off balance way off balance like all my cards are going crazy the moon Ten of Swords. My heart's racing. My heart is racing. Someone could have said that they don't want to do this anymore or that they're not sure of what to do and this is causing you to have the heartache, the, the, the burdens that you are feeling and restricted in this connection. Someone feels restricted. Someone just wants to be free. Someone just wants to create stability and success. I feel like both of you want this, but one person is just really confused. Like their emotions are all over the place. They're not listening to their intuition. Okay, but the worst is behind you here. I feel like this is as wor the worst it's going to get in this connection and in your life, okay? It's the worst that it's ever going to get because 10 is the end of it. Afterwards, you get the Ace of Swords, the clarity. This person is just not clear. They're just, they're just not clear. The Hermit, they could be secluded from you at this time. person needs healing and I feel like that's why the star also came out you and this person because the star comes out when you really need something the high priestess is clarifying the four of cups you your intuition right now is um 
is not at its peak okay because this person is there's a lot of energies that are causing restriction to your power to your gifts to your to your uh, knowledge and your intuition here okay someone here is really sad really depressed really anxious having gut issues having inflammatory having digestive issues like someone here it's just not um not as strong as they once were or as they as they need to be so the star is here to heal you okay and this other person um five of swords oh i don't like this i don't like that energy like as much as this person cares for you because i feel like with the six of cups there is a sense of i care for you but this person has a lot of Things that they're just unclear on in their own life. I feel like it has nothing to do with you. Like they need their own healing. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Look, Nine of Swords, Ace of Cups. The Nine of Swords is, is uh, clarifying the star. So like I mentioned, someone here is really stressed, really worried, can't sleep, can't I'm sorry sleep. guys. I got a phone call. <gasps> I don't know okay i got a phone call but um like they're cutting me off because this energy is crazy they're cutting me off this energy is insane um so the star is here because you really need something okay so like i mentioned the star is here because you really need something so the star is healing you the straw the star is healing your heart ace of cups I feel like your heart is your heart chakra is breaking open, is healing. Okay, let's keep going. The six of cups here. Yeah. So like I mentioned, after the ten of swords, the worst, you get the ace of swords, you get clarity. Okay, so someone here, someone here that has gone within, that has removed themselves from you i feel like this person has removed themselves from you or you're not really in contact um i feel like they're getting clear on what this connection is or you're getting clear on what this connection is there's a lot of swords here so there's a lot of thoughts and um fears i feel as well let's clarify the ten of pentacles you have here the six of swords and the nine of cups so someone here knows that this connection can be really stable can be long term some this connection like i mentioned when this person when you guys hang out it's fun like there's a lot of fun there's a lot of like you know youthful energy it's very energetic it's it's just fun and then when you leave, it's just, you know, confusion and indecisiveness. But like I mentioned, there's a lot of things happening here. Someone is really overthinking. Someone is thinking about what to do, getting clear on the situation, death. So something needs to be transformed here. This energy, this person's energy needs to be completely transformed if this, if this is ever going to come together because there's a strong bond here the fact that you have here the star um and the high priestess does suggest to me that this is a strong bond here but can this person overcome what it is that they're going through seven of cups oh you love them even through the confusion i feel like you are so nurturing you're so you are see you're intuitive for some of you you're even light workers you're psychics you're very intuitive because we have here the high priestess and the queen of cups but you you love them even though they're confused you love them <clears throat> even though they're indecisive three of wands see you love them you love them you you look out for them 
you want to move forward you want to move on i feel like you try to help them throughout this confusion maybe you you nurture them even more you're more gentle you're you're calm you're patient you're hoping that this gives them clarity but yeah they're just closed off nine of nine of wands one more oh here we go counterparts could be dealing with the cancer pisces or scorpio but yeah there's love here they love you there's a strong bond here you have here the hermit the emperor and the magician yes okay so it is looking good in the fact that even though this person is closed off they have a lot of emotions towards you like i said they care for you they there's just some there's something in their own life it has nothing to do with you there's something in their own life that they need to get freed from that's why the star is here okay and the magician um with the emperor i feel like this is what they're trying to do they're trying to get stable they're trying to manifest themselves out of this res just this restriction this energy of confusion and indecisiveness and not knowing and you know this energy right here in the ten of swords i feel like they're just not healed from something that really went down in their life in the past this is past energy i can feel it and it's causing you to just be like oh my god like so like what the heck you know <laughs> like you're just over it i feel like you're just so over this cycle like you want the cycle to end okay so they're in hermit mode they are going within they're really taking time to reflect i feel like they may have even said to you like you deserve better than what i can give at this time but they really love and care for you they obviously are not open to showing their love they're hidden their emotions are hidden from you here with the moon as well um, but there's a lot of swords here that indicate fear and thoughts. So there's a lot of thinking about what to do, but this person can't even think about a commitment or a relationship because they're confused on what's going on in their own life. And I feel like you really need to, before making a decision about what you want to do about this person, I feel like you really need to reflect on what it is that you need in a person to give you commitment and stability because this person right here i'm going to be really honest with you because i don't want to give you false hope they're just not ready they have a lot of things that they need to figure out so i feel like you need to focus on you on letting go of you know this this feeling of feeling restricted i i do see you becoming free okay like you're creating freedom for yourself you know taking care of your mind your body and your spirit just taking care of yourself and you know wishing this person well and healing and like they just need to figure it out for themselves right okay so i see here cancer pisces scorpio libra gemini aquarius strong aquarius energy here with the star i see pisces strong pisces energy with the moon and the and the high priestess um and libra i said that already virgo taurus capricorn uh strong aries here as well with the emperor i think i already said that <laughs> um strong virgo energy because the hermit and the magician okay all right um i think that's all i have for you i love you guys I am sending you so much love, light, and protection. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you. Thanks.